Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for another Sims 4 console video. And this time I am doing it on getting started with the PlayStation 4. I just finished getting all of the packs installed on my PlayStation and now it is time to explore a little bit. So just a little background information. I am brand new to the PlayStation, only had it since Spider-Man was released a couple months ago. And I haven't had a lot of time to spend on it. Um, but of course, once I got it, I had to get the Sims. So I would like to um, you know, share that with you. So this is actually the very first time that I am playing The Sims 4 on the PlayStation. Like, we're gonna do this together, for reals. So, we're gonna go ahead and just accept that. And, oh, yay! We got the holiday celebration pack. And I need to accept, how do I do that? Just X, oh, perfect. I just hit X and then I accepted that. Then I've got my email here. I believe that's the one I have my, I hope. Oh. Actually, I'll be right back. I am now connected and I got Grimm's Ghoulish Guitar. All right, so we are in Create a Sim and we're going to create some Sims. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead through the tutorial just so you guys can see uh, what it takes to create the Sims. So we're going to learn about the basic controls here. So toggle menus game. Pressing the trackpad allows you to toggle between the on-screen menu and the cursor. So, okay, there we go. Need help remembering what each button does. Press L3 to view the controls. So that's L3. And the control screen will update according to the menus you're in. Perfect. Hit X to go on to the next tip. Personality panel. The personality panel is where you define important details of your sim. So we're gonna say yes and learn more about that. If you're new to The Sims 4, this is where you're really gonna set up the sim the way you want the sim to be. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see you can choose their gender, their age range, even their walk style. So you have a bunch of those to choose from. You can, if you have more than one sim, you can choose like their relationship, roommate, spouse, child, etc. This is where you choose their voices. I'll stop. When you pick one you like, you can come down here and kind of adjust it. That way all your sims don't sound alike. So then, you can come up here where it says first name and you can name them. Or, and I hit X to do that. And then also X to randomize names. So we'll go ahead and randomize a few here. Let's see, let's, I like a Madeline. Let's do Madeline Willingham. Oh, yes, that is a great name. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna pick aspirations for them. So an aspiration, of course, is your Sims' lifelong goal. We're going to select that. And let's see, this girl, let's make her a booty. So she wants to be a chef. We're gonna let her do that. And then these are bonus traits and you get three of those. So you can kind of customize their, how do you wanna say, their personality almost down to the minute pieces of it. So we're gonna make her, I always go with the same ones too, but since we want her to be a master chef, make her a genius. And I'm navigating with L3. 
And let's see, to go to the next trait levels here, you can do um, R1 and L1 to kind of navigate through. So we're going to make her a foodie, of course. And let's see, what else can we do? I think we'll make her... Hmm. I don't want to make her a glutton. That's like just too... Oh, we'll make her ambitious. Okay. So now we've done that. And she is ready to move on. So let's go to the next... All right, we've got all of our traits. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we get past this? I've got the traits. How do I get past the... Oh, there we go. I want to get past the tutorial and it was not letting me go. So Madeline needs to be edited. So what I'm going to do is click on the trackpad and get that mouse back. And we're going to click on her. Actually, let's get to where we're on her head first. Let's give her a whole new look. Oh, actually, she's quite beautiful. This is a sim you'll see often, and she's actually one of my favorites. We're going to tweak her just a little bit so we can do faces, uh, skin details, even teeth. So we can give her these cute little buck teeth here. We can give her a little gap. We can give her raggedy teeth. But we're going to go ahead. I think we'll do that. And then I'm navigating, by the way, using X and O and the uh, L3, just in case you're wondering. Let's give her some freckles. And I like her little mole on her mouth, so I'm going to keep it that way. And let's see. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I just took her mole away. Come back, mole. I like that. We're going to give her face. I'm going to keep her face exactly the way it is because I like it. And we can play around with the skin tones. So I'm navigating with L3. And then I'm selecting with X. I think I'm going to keep her at the skin tone she had. Oops. I want to change her face just a little bit. I really... Oh, wait. No, I did not like that. So, I can undo that by hitting L2. And I can redo by hitting R2. So I'm going to undo it because I really like her face the way it is. I like the eyes on this first face here. So I think what I'm going to do is play around with her face a little bit. But we're going to do that in a minute here. I'm using the O button or the circle button to background or backtrack to where I was. So let's go ahead and look at all the hairs. We've got quite a few to choose from. I want to do something a little funky. Oh, I like that for her. That goes on her face perfect. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Leave that. That's going to be her hairstyle. And we're going to come into detail edit mode here. So we can play with her eyes a little bit. Because I want her eyes to be a little bit bigger. So I'm using, really the most things I'm using are the O, or the circle button, the X button, and the L3 to move around. So I'm using L3 to move around. And then when I get, ooh, it's still a little tricky. Mouse and keyboard controls are coming eventually to this, so. But I can drag this down, so I'm holding X and then still maneuvering with L3. So I'm going to shape her nose just a little bit. See what I can do with her mouth here. Make her look just a little friendlier. 
eyebrows. Well, oh, I like the arch. I like the arch a lot. And let's see. Go over here to her ears, tweak those, make them a little bit bigger. Now I'm using uh, R3 to do the rotating here to kind of look at her. But I like her cheeks. I like the way she looks. So I'm going to hit O to get out of there. And I think I'm going to change her eye color to a green, but I think I like her face the way it is. I don't think I'm going to change her makeup at all because I actually like it. So let's go. We're going to hit back out a little bit. Oh, she's cute. Too bad we can't save her to the gallery. So now we're going to edit her body, which actually, I like her body the way it is. So I'm not gonna edit it, but if you wanted to, you could. You can change the skin tone. You can come down here, change the sizes. You can come over here and you know make her thinner, make her fatter. Whatever you want, the, your wish is my command or the game's command. <laughs> Not really my command. And let's see. The other thing I want to do, which I'm trying to figure out, I want to change her eye color. So we're going to click on that. And, oops, nope, nope, go back. The controls are a little weird. So it does take a little getting used to, for sure. I don't want detail edit mode. I want face. Okay, this is what I want. I want to be able to click her eyes, come up here, and change the color. So I'm thinking a real green. But see, now I'm thinking I really don't like how big her eyes are. I'm going to go back into detail edit mode and just pull the bottoms up a little. I want them big, but I think I want them big and round. I think I had the bottoms down too much. Let's see how that looks if I get all the way back out. Oh yeah, I like that. So now we'll go ahead and change our clothes. Yes, I know I say so a lot. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get better about that. Now the, let's go back over here. Style looks gives you already put together outfits. So you can come in and pick one. If you like it, you can then come and go through the different color swatches and you can try them on and see how they look on your particular sim if you really like that. And there's usually, depending on what packs you have in or installed and where you are, like which look, so you can see up at the very top here, you have everyday, formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So you wanna pick clothing for all of those outfits. So every day, I'll keep her in this. Then let's go to formal, and we can look at style looks, or there's only two in here. So we can get back out here, we can come in and we can go through all the different categories. So like these are all full body. So for formal, I tend to put them in, of course, formal dresses. Want them in something just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. I don't really like that with her hair and I wanna kinda go with the hair. I think a more, whoops, go back here. I think a deep maroon would be really good with that hair, yes. So that's going to be her formal look. And let's go back up here and we're going to go through. Oh, one thing I want to talk about is up here where you see like the plus. You can have different looks. So you can have 14 or whatever the limit is, different looks for formal, for everyday, whatever you want. I typically don't. I typically just do one unless I'm doing like vampires or something and then I'll do you know, a multiple look, just, I don't know why I'm looking in short dresses. 
So we can look at sets here. Athletic is really a good one to look at the different pieces. So you can come in here and just show all. And again, just to let you know, I'm navigating just using L3 and the circle on the X. But let's see, what do we want to put on her? So for athletics, she doesn't have a ton of choices in the bottoms. What we can do, actually come back in here, you can go up and you can open the panel filter and you can get rid of athletic and see what choices you get. So you can actually go through all of them. And since I don't have all the Sims packs, this is going to be a little bit different than what you would have in, you know, like the Sims 4 with all the packs. So let's go back and put the athletic filter back on. And I want to do these pants. These are some of my favorites. So we're going to put her in some joggers. Oh, go back here. Don't take the jogger. Wait, why are you being obstinate here? Thank you. I just wanted to cycle through the colors. Okay, so those are the joggers I want to put on. I'm going to keep the shirt on her that she has. But what I'd like to do is change the color. So it brings it highlighted to me here. Oops, didn't mean to take that off you girl. And you can cycle through and change them from there. Or you can change to a different outfit. But I want to keep her on that. I do want to take her down to shoes and put on... Some sneakers. I have my favorites. These Adidas looking ones are my go-to. All right. She has her look for athletic and I'm not sure why we got off of. There we go. Sleep. Oh, sleep I like to do. Let's see what we have. I like to do so one of these like jammy looking ones. So we're going to put her in that. I'll keep the slippers. And then we're going to go to party, see what she's in. That looks like jammies to me. That's cute actually. So let's go ahead and keep her in that. Where's my, where's my, I've lost my mouse or my cursor. Let's go back in here. Okay, there we go. Now we're bumping around, whoops. We want that dress, but let's change the color. I kind of like that pink. And I want to give her new shoes. I think we'll do some flats. Nah, I don't like those. Let's go look at the, let's look at wedges. Oh yeah, these are my favorites. And those will go perfect with that dress. Look at that. And that could be a nice summer outfit too. Swimwear, what does she have? Okay, we'll keep her on that. That looks fine. Hot weather. Oh, she looks like she's ready for work. I think I like that. I'm going to keep that as well. And cold weather, I like that too. All right. Does she have gloves on? Because her hands look really dark. Let's see if she has gloves on. So we're going to go to accessories. Click on them. And see, oh, look, she does. She has brown gloves on. So they're kind of weird looking. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the gloves, but I think we'll do a different color. Maybe I won't keep the gloves. I really don't like those. So I think I'll just take those off. I don't like the way they look. And I do like everything she's wearing except the shoes. I think some fun snow boots would be good. So let's see. Oh, cowboy boots. Oh, they hide under those jeans. I was looking for boots that would go over the jeans. 
something like that. Okay, that'll work for me. Let's do not white. Let's do black. It uh, might not go very good with her out her her jacket. Those are gonna go under. Will these go under? Yeah. Oh, but I actually like the white ones. Okay, so we'll do that. And then the other thing, because it is cold and I took away her gloves, let's go back to her face. She is cute as can be. Oh my gosh. And we're going to go to face set or actually hats, and brimless. Oh, she doesn't have any? Wait, I thought we had winter hats in here. Let's look at all. I thought we had stocking caps. Oh, maybe it's just because cold weather? Let's get rid of cold weather and see what we have. I was pretty sure, oh, no, uh, that we had stocking caps, but maybe I was wrong. Let's do that. Let's see how she looks. That's cute. I like her. Okay, so we've got Madeline Willingham. And I, that's all I'm gonna do, just one sim. I have Madeline exactly how I want her. So I'm gonna go ahead and save her. And since we don't really have a gallery, I'm just gonna leave her like that. I'm not gonna put any description or anything because I'll know for myself. If we ever do get a gallery that we can share, I will share her with you guys. So then I'm gonna go ahead down here and say play. And there we go. We're gonna put her in the game. All right, moving in. Your Sims need a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. The home you choose offers you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry. You can always visit or move to any of the worlds in The Sims 4. Um, I'm going to say yes to learning about moving in just so we can go over the controls. So we've got these three towns. To choose from so we're going to start with Willow Creek and we're just going to move her right into a Storner home but you see as I am moving through it's telling me where she can and cannot live like she's too poor for most everything so we're going to move her into string stream let single and we're going to confirm and I'm just moving around with the with the L3 and the X so she is moving in. It's already furnished with the basics. And you can press on the square button to drag a plate into the garbage, which comes in very, very handy. All right, so do you want a live mode tutorial? I am gonna say no to this, and we'll just kind of do this together. So L3 push down again just shows you the controls for live mode or live mode, however you want to call it. And a lot of the controls are gonna be very similar to what we were doing in Create a Sim. And then I am using right three to kind of navigate right now. And when I press on it, it kind of centers on her. I'm spinning it right now, hope you're not getting sick. Pushing up to zoom in, down to zoom out. We're back with Madeline reading. Now, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the controls uh, on the screen while she's doing that. So again, L3 brings this up. Navigating is fairly simple. You can move in between using the cursor by hitting your touchpad, okay? And speed controls, pause, play, fast forward, ultra speed. Those can all be controlled this way. Or if you notice here, you can do them doing R1 and R or L1. 
So if you're not using that, so let's go back and I'm just cycling through. So R1, L1. So it's pretty easy to do it. It just takes a little getting used to how the controls maneuver. It's a little bit different um, if you've played the PC version or the Xbox version. I actually have to say that being in the PS4 version with you guys today, I have realized this is a lot easier to navigate than the Xbox controller. I'm not sure why, but I definitely am having less struggles with it. It just seems to be more simplistic. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I like my PlayStation so much. But anyway, okay, so then down here you've got your aspirations. You can see what your goals are to become a master chef. And you have your career, so if she was working, which she is not. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I only have three worlds to choose from uh, and why I'm not joining a career yet is because I am only playing base game. I have not installed or downloaded any of the other packs at this point. I have them all, but this is all base game. So what you're seeing here is if you buy The Sims 4, this is what you'll get. This is, this is exactly what you'll be playing without any other packs having to be purchased. So I hope that that gives you a really good idea of how much you're gonna get right out of the gate, which is a lot actually. All right, so back to, whoops, where'd my mouse go? There we go. Back to the, so she has no skills yet. She hasn't done anything. Relationship, she has no relationships yet. Uh, inventory, no inventory yet. Simology, this is where you'll see all the information about your sim. So you can see the traits that we picked for her. You can see what age group she is. How long it'll be till she gets older so right now she's a young adult she has 23 days until she becomes an adult then her genealogy so right now it's just her and her family but as she falls in love and gets married and does all that stuff she will have more and believe me you guys i plan to play this as a let's play so if you want to see more and kind of navigate with me make sure you've subscribed to the channel and then ring that bell that lets YouTube know that you would like to be notified when I post something new on the channel. And that way you don't miss out when it comes up because they will be coming. I've been dying to play on the PlayStation, uh, truthfully not using my Xbox quite as much, though I will still do Xbox videos as well. Okay, so then you have stats. So you can kind of come in here and see all the times they've done or been or felt or witnessed or anything. So this is kind of a fun thing to watch, especially as you go through the game. Uh, and it just gives you a little bit more insight into your sim and what they've experienced, kind of like their, mm, like their own live journal. And then you have the needs. So of course, as in any Sims game, you have to keep the needs filled or your sims will become miserable. You can click on things like hygiene and just send them off to do whatever they need to do. So she should be going to get a shower. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, you're seeing things like the toilet and the shower pop up. Uh, energy, she's going to sit on the couch. Hunger, she's going to go eat. Uh, fun, what does she have? A little TV here. Social, she doesn't know anybody, so there's not really anything social that will happen. But let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit play here and let her go through her thing. So right now she's reading. I'm gonna speed it up and we're gonna really speed her up and see what she's doing. She's gonna have to finish reading. I can come over here with this and I can hit X and cancel that. I'm gonna let her go ahead and finish and we're just gonna let her do her thing. Now the welcome wagon is here. So we will come and say, hello. We will invite the neighbors in, even though we're gonna be doing all of our needs as well. And you'll see it just kind of cleared through the needs. It just said, okay, this is a priority. So I am gonna take that uh, as a thing and get the other things out of the way. We're gonna greet new neighbors. We'll just click on all of them. This is a great way to make friends, know people around the town. And going forward, it just kind of makes things a little bit more fun for you. 
whoops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that on the right one. I just wanted to kind of zoom in on them a little bit and see. I'm going to go ahead and slow them down and then we'll just take a look. So they're eating the fruit cake that was brought over. <laughs> it is gourmet, so you know, maybe it's better than the non-gourmet. This is Angelica Sherman. I've never seen her before as a pre-made sim, but I like her. She looks a little bit like my sim self. I think we're going to uh, get to know her more and see what we can do if we can make a friendship. So if you notice this bar up here, that's going to show their friendship level. And as it gets more green, you'll notice that they're having different options. They will have a deeper relationship. More fun things will happen. And you can, you can do it negatively, you can do it romantically. All of it depends on what you choose from here. So right now we're just doing general options. So let's share a brilliant idea. That'll get her energized since that's her thing. You can come into more choices though and then you can choose friendly, funly, romance, mischief, mean, uh, actions. We can make groups. We're not going to do that. We're just going to be silly and work on the friendships. So, oh, they're all going to leave now. I guess it is Sunday at 3.48 in the afternoon, so why not leave? And now she is back to entertaining herself. But let's go ahead, since she's done that, and look at her needs. So, she's still hungry. The fruitcake didn't do anything. She still needs to go to the bathroom. You can see by the arrow, the red arrows, what's going down. So we'll just click through all these and go back to the needs that we were having her do. And you can see now there's something that's yellow because that need is pressing. So she is very hungry and she should be eating, uh, even if it is just gross fruitcake. But she's going to still take care of the other needs that have kind of lined up for herself. She's washing her hands, so now her hygiene's going to go up. And then she should go eat some more fruitcake, which won't go very far as far as taking care of her hunger, but that's okay. Now, you can use cheats. The one thing I want to tell you, though, is if you use any kind of cheats in this game, you're out of luck as far as achievements go. So, I am going to do this save and this corresponding let's play without any cheats, and we'll just kind of call it... I don't know what we're going to call it. If you guys have a suggestion for a name for this Let's Play, leave it in the comments. Let me know and perhaps I'll give it a name. For right now, it's going to be Sims 4, PlayStation 4 Let's Play. I don't know. Something like that. So anyway, that's the basics on all of that. Let's come over here to this panel. You've got the phone. So she can now, now that she has friends, she can text her friends. So let's have her text Angelica as soon as she's done with her other chores. Should go fairly quickly when I speed them up here. As soon as she's out of the shower, I'll slow it down. Remember, L1, R1 to navigate those. And now she is texting. And now she's going back to reading. So apparently that text wasn't anything exciting. You can plan a social event. You can, let's see, can I, how do I navigate the rest of this? Okay, there. Um, R1 and L1, just like over time. So we can move, we can travel. When I have the other packs open or installed, we can travel if we have travel spots. You can hire a service uh, such as pizza. I think pizza. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, pizza. So we'll have pizza delivery come. And she'll get some pizza coming in. You can also find a job and do things like take a selfie. So let's get a selfie of our girl. And the selfie will be saved. And you have your filters. So we're going to go ahead and hit X to take that beautiful selfie. And let's see. How do I navigate? How do I freeze it? Do I do it? Let's see. Navigate filters or up, down, left, right. Move camera. 
view controls, which is what we're doing, confirm. Toggle camera orientation is the square. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. And then we're going to do X there to take another picture. We can go and do different filters. Oh, I kind of like that bright filter. Ooh, there we go. Let's do this and X. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. And now, if I come over to her inventory, her selfies are in her inventory. And she can name it. She can set a filter. She can even place it in the world. If I can figure out how to do that. Why not? Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. How do I get her to put it? Hmm. I'm not sure how to get her to put it in the world. Let's look at this and see if it tells us. Cell object, live drag. Okay, so square. So then I can drag that, put it on the wall. Okay, or not. Put it on the wall, is it? is the X button and square drags it out here put on the wall drag it put on the wall or not come on there we go now let's get out of here and we'll zoom in and take a look Woo. so there you go they're not the best selfies in the world but now I can come here and I can copy it. I can add a pretty little frame to it. I can still set the filter. I can still name it. I can have her walk over and look at it. See if she thinks she's all that in a bag of toast. Do you like your selfie? I put them a little high for you, didn't I? And that's a great way to add a picture wall. If you take, you can take selfies with other people, other uh, experiences when you're out and about, things like that. So that's kind of fun thing that you can do from your phone without needing a camera, because it's built in, of course, to all of our phones. And then you can also take a photo of a particular person, or you can just take a photo. So let's have her do that. And of course, she's not looking at anything very exciting, so let's move around and say she just wants to take a picture of her couch. So now, she has a beautiful picture of her couch. We can filter it, we can do all that fun stuff. And all of that is gonna be in her gallery too. So wherever your screenshots are saved, that's where you're gonna see them, we should. If the PlayStation works out, let's see. Oh, maybe it's not here. I'll have to look and I'll, I'll tell you in a future uh, update like where they save those. So I'm not really sure where photos actually, does it tell us here? Oh, she got the photography skill. So now we can see her skill levels, charisma, photography, and video gaming. Good girl. But I don't know where the photos are actually stored on the PlayStation, but they should be stored there. On the PC, they're stored in a screenshot folder, and then you can use them for other things. So I will find that out, and I will let you guys know that in the future. If you know and you want to share that in the comments, go ahead and do that as well. So let's just take a look at the rest of this. So center on the current lot, centers her. You can also do that by centering on her by hitting on the right three button or the right R3, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, the, the joystick for the right side basically. And up here, let's get out of here. Can come, you can go into build mode, which I will do in a future video. We will come in and actually update this house in build mode. So I'll go over that. So stay tuned. 
Live mode is what we were playing in. And then you have free cam mode. So this is a great mode if you build a house, you want to do a house tour, or if you want to do screenshots without any of the UI in it. So that is that. And let's take a look at the controls for that. So you can see you can move the camera down, you can back up, you can move up using the arrow, the X, and the zero, or the O. You can zoom in using L1 and R, or L2 and R2, zoom in and out. Still do your speeds uh, with the L1 and R1. You can go up and down your floors using your D-pad on the left-hand side and then using the uh, joysticks, you have some other options as well. So it's pretty, pretty nifty. Whoops, sorry, did not mean to do that. So I'm just kind of showing the zooming, spinning around. So there you go. And in a nutshell, that is my first look at the Sims 4 console on PlayStation 4. Uh, I have played now both Sims 4 on PlayStation 4 and on Xbox. This was literally my first time in PlayStation 4, and it feels so much more comfortable for me than the Xbox. And that just might be because I'm more comfortable for some reason with the PlayStation controller, even though I've had an Xbox for years. Go figure. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to know that you can literally get the full-on experience of the Sims 4 in the console of your choice, basically, as long as you're a PlayStation or Xbox, not on Nintendo Switch yet. I hope, I hope, someday in the future. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. I love to hear your comments, so give them to me. Let me know what you thought. And if you're new to The Sims 4 or you're new to the PlayStation or you're new to Sims 4 on the PlayStation, I'd love to hear from you. And tell me what you want to see going forward because I definitely plan on doing more. I do plan on uh, having a Let's Play with Madeline and seeing where, where this goes. We'll see if we can make her a master chef and whatever. Uh, have a nice family. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of do it together. We'll figure out where it goes. But I'd love to hear from you, I guess, is all I'm saying. And if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell so that YouTube does know to send you notifications because that's the only way it'll do it really. Uh, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.